show. Time for some 814 fun. We're certainly having fun with our friends from Canoe Creek State Park. We've got the leadership team here. We've got George, Kathy, Corey, and Danielle. Welcome in, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Bob the Bobcat. So this is your mascot. Yes, he yeah. is. Yep. Yes, he is. And he's decked out in his sun protection. He yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Ready for the eclipse. Yeah. He enjoyed the eclipse. Well, very good. <laughs> uh, he's smaller than I imagined when you said yeah, we're bringing a, in a bobcat. He's a youngster. Okay. He's a youngster. Well, he's very cute. You guys, okay, friends of Canoe Creek, you're kind of this committee that meets and you do all kinds of different improvement projects, you help with the events. Tell me mm -hmm. more about why you guys got together to form this committee. So we're actually underneath a parent organization called Pennsylvania Parks and Forestry Foundation. So most, if not all of the parks in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. have this group, right? And the entire idea of it is to promote stewardship of the parks. And we do that by getting people to come out to some of our free events that Kathy will tell us about. Yeah, here. how do you go about coordinating these events and planning? Oh, uh, well, uh, we have a committee, um, and we put together a, uh, a plan of when we're going to do our special events. So uh, this particular year, we did first day hike on January 1st, and our draw, we uh, are first in the region and second in the state, and our draw is usually about 200 people that participate in, in our, uh, for, uh, our first walk. Mm -hmm. And then in the summer, we do uh, three movies. Uh, this year, our movies will be on June 15th, July 13th, and July 27th, and we partner with uh, Blair Drug and Alcohol, and uh, we have an attendance uh, there for our movies, about 100 to 120 people. And then uh, on June 23rd, we're going to do our Family Fishing Day, and we have about 30 participants that take part in that as well. And in the fall, we do our major big event, that's the Mountain Pie and Music yes. event, and uh, we have 200 plus people that take uh, part in that as well so uh, we put the committee together and we figure it out from there and yeah. we decide what we're gonna do yeah get people excited about Canoe Creek State Park yeah. yep um, so all of you are advocates what do you think makes this park so special you know or stand out between all the other parks to go in you know Pennsylvania because Canoe Creek is pretty amazing well we do we have a lot of amazing projects we do there in fact, that's one of our projects. That bobcat was found dead along the road, and the park didn't have the money to have a, ta a taxidermy fix it, so we paid for that. Yeah. But one of the first projects we ever did was a butterfly garden, and it only has plants that are native to Pennsylvania okay. in that particular garden. That's cool. Yeah, and the, uh, another program well, I saw a picture of shortly the, is a playground. Yeah. It took us three years to raise the money for that because that playground cost $40,000. So we do all these things that promote the park. Mm -hmm. Now the last thing we did was an easy dock kayak launch. A lot of people have, in fact there's a picture of it now, a lot of people have trouble getting in and out of kayaks. Mm -hmm. So they can't participate in the sport. So we go out of our way to help these people participate in, in that particular sport. We bought these from a company in Ohio, but we wouldn't have been able to do it without the Pennsylvania Federation or for wa Foundation for Watershed. They paid three fourths of the money to pay for this. We put in two of them, one at the Spillway Road and one at the Mooring Road. We're hopefully, it's, it's sort of interesting, they paid 75%, we had to pay 25. 25% wiped out our treasury completely. Mm -hmm. But w our purpose is not to build funds, but take a great park like Canoe Creek and make it even better. And there's a short video on how this works. Yeah, it's interesting how it does work. I've never even heard of this, but I think getting in and out of a canoe, yeah, it could be a difficult thing. And that's well, the last a thing canoe is difficult, a kayak's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're. In the water. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could stand up at that point, but <laughs> who wants to go kayaking when you're soaking wet? <laughs> no, I understand. Um, and Danielle, let us know if people want to join the committee, learn more about becoming part of Friends of Canoe Creek. So we have a Facebook page, Friends of Canoe Creek, uh, uh, Facebook at Friends of Canoe Creek. We also have our email, uh, Friends of Canoe Creek at gmail.com. And I'm going to leave some brochures with you. We also do promotions through our uh, advertising. Uh, Corey is working on a uh, LinkedIn or Facebook yeah. advertising, and you can always you can always reach out to the park.
perfect. Yeah, and of course, donations are always welcome. Right. Our, our, we are self-funded, mm -hmm. so all of our donations are most welcome, any amount. At our, at our events, we have donation jars out. Uh, we also have wonderful people who uh, send us donations just because they enjoy the park. We have 47 members. It's $10 to become a member for the year. And you're welcome to, uh, we have different levels of membership. So you can volunteer. Some people like to just come out and volunteer. Other people like to be just a financial support. Other folks like to help us plan. So we have monthly meetings. So our next meeting is in May at, at the Education Center. Come on out. It's the first Wednesday of every month from 6.30 to about 8. And uh, we we're, this committee, along with the folks that come from our membership, uh, help plan our events. And we coordinate them with our uh, park manager, Joe Basil. And uh, it's a way for us to enjoy the park. It's such a gem. It's, it's, yeah. it's local to all the towns. It's one of the only state parks I in a really good driving area. Mm -hmm. You can go up to, you know, um, not, you know, what is it, State Park at Knob? Blue Knob. Oh, yeah. Blue sure. Knob. And there's also Shawnee and there's yeah. others in State College. But we get lots of folks coming to this park because it has so many. It has a lake. It has beaches. It has, you can hike. You can walk. You can yeah. just sit and bask in the sun and... It's a special place. We it appreciate is. you guys stopping by, too. Thank you so much. Thank you for, Thank you for having us.